Today, this is the second version we're going to do of our testing for the new intake that we sell. What this motor here is a full roller motor. It's got the bigger valves in it, titanium valves actually, roller camshaft, roller lifters, and a, a good motor. This is our uh, this is a motor we built for our customers. These motors, depending on some of the options you get, it's about a $4,500 to $5,000 motor, and they, they perform really well at the new intake. But we did it. We did what we did here for the testing. We took the two barrel intake here today with the inch 200. It's an alcohol motor. It runs an alcohol. And we got tuned in with this this carburetor and this intake now, and then now we're going to take a switch the intake around around put the new style intake on and use the same carburetor and get it tuned in and we'll show you the difference in the results. You'll be surprised uh, on that stock all motor we did early. You saw a little bit of difference in horsepower here. I believe we're going to see big gains here. I'm thinking in the range of maybe uh, 20 horsepower more or maybe around 10 more foot pounds of torque or something like that. I'm hoping for, but we'll see what comes out when we're done. Okay, we got the other intake on. We got this engine already dialed and tuned in now. This, there's, this is the Midwest Super Cub cast intake. It's the ported version. And like I said, this is a full roller motor, 45 cubic inch, 25 horse. It's got the uh, bigger, bigger intake, bigger exhaust valve in, inch 200 on alcohol. And with the only difference we made between the two, the two barrel intake and this, it's the same timing we had with the other one. And just had to reset the carburetor differently for this, and uh, it came out uh, relatively well. Here, and we'll show you the numbers here in a little bit. Okay, here's the here's the uh, dyno graph of the two engines. This blue line right here is the torque with the two barrel intake, same carburetor both times, and this is the torque with the Midwest Super Cub intake. Here's the horsepower with the two barrel intake, the black and uh, red line, and this green line with the blue dots. That's the horsepower with the Midwest Super Cub intake. And you see it's quite a bit better between the two and this is the same motor the same day all we did is change the intake reset the carburetor to, to adapt their intake to it to make it work right and here it is the horsepower the two barrel intake made 71.1 horse at 6600 rpm 67 and a half foot pounds of torque at 4900 rpm the midwest super cub intake made 85.8 horse at 7600 rpm and 77.4 foot pounds of torque at 5200 Kind of look at this a little deeper, you look at the average horsepower and the average torque. Two barrel manifold made 66.4. The Midwest Super Cub intake made 80.3, which is a difference of 16 or 13.9 horsepower average difference. And then a torque 55.4 for the two barrel intake and the Super Cub intake 66.2 for torque. And that's 10.8 foot pounds of torque, better torque with that. And that's all the same internals on the engine. So just look at the price of the the price of the uh, intake is the same for the two barrel intake and the adapter as is for the Super Cub intake, and look at the performance difference you get uh, right there. It's 13.7 uh, horsepower difference on the peak, and it's 9.9 uh, foot pounds of torque on the peak difference. There you have it.